I didn't choose this life, this life choose me. <laughs> Hi babies, it's Pim here and welcome back to my channel. The video today is going to be about five random stuff that I can't live without. All the products I'm about to show you today is something that I've been using for years without stopping and I know for a fact that my life would be dysfunction one way or another without these products. Now moving in with the content, I also have to warn you that this video is gonna reek of my OCD. So let's get the first thing right off the table because I briefly mentioned it kind of in my what's in my bag video. The first item I cannot live without, I swear to God, is this. This is an herb inhaler and it's very popular in Thailand. We have a bunch of different brands and it come in a bunch of different packaging. To be honest, I'm not quite sure that the sensation of an herbs inhaler exists outside of Thailand or not. But what I know is almost all of my Thai friends is either obsessed with one brand or another and everybody has at least one of these. Like I said, they do came in a bunch of different brands and a bunch of different packagings. This is just my favorite. This video is not sponsored, but I hope it is or will be in the future. You just kind of take the lid off and voila! The smell of heaven. Hi, my name is Pim and I am addicted to an herbs inhaler. And when I said that I'm addicted and I could not live without it, this is what I mean. As you can tell, they're very small and you kind of lost them pretty easy and I use it religiously so I literally have one laying around everywhere. So if you happen to be chatting, you ask what I'm doing, I'm gonna say like, just out to grab a couple of inhaler. I don't mean this, I meant this. Or to be more specific, I meant this. So I just happen to have a lot at hand just to make sure I don't have to go a day without one. The second product I could not live without is a bit more reasonable. I couldn't live without eye straps, specifically these ones. This came in these pack of four and to use it you just kind of separate them from the pack and take one on a go with you so you can use it everywhere. It's very convenient for travel. I'm someone who experienced very bad allergies due to dust or weather. Like especially when it rains or when it's about to rain, my eyes go crazy. My eyes got super puffy, it's got a little teary and super ishy and super dry at the same time. What I normally do is obviously take my allergies medicine. But I also really need the eye drops just to ease out the irritation. Just in case my allergies hit, I can just pop, pop. The next two products I want to talk about is something relevant to sleep. I am someone who deeply, truly enjoys sleeping, but I do have some stress cause problems that makes it hard for me to fall asleep. So the next two products I wanted to mention has really just been changing the game for me. Like I said on the beginning of the videos, I'm a very scent-based person. So what's been helping me go to sleep every night is this. This is from a company called This Works and it's called the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray and it's supposed to help you fall asleep faster, naturally, and wake up refreshed. What it is, basically, like it said, it's a pillow spray so you basically just spray this on your pillows or on your beddings before you go to sleep and the fragrance of it is basically a mixture of different herbs with a strong hint of lavender that is scientifically proven to be helping your body relax and help you feel calm and de-stress you. I got this one from Sephora Thailand so if you do have a sleeping problem like me, I really do recommend you to try this out. It doesn't have to be this particular one from like this brand because I see a lot of brands coming up with their own pillow sprays but I just stuck with this one just because I think this is one of the first one that came out in the market and I have no problem using it and I just already get accustomed to its scent so I just want to share this with you just in case anyone is looking for a way to fall asleep faster and get a better sleep but don't exactly know where to look so the next product is related to my sleeping habits as well and it's this this is the blindfold eye mask from the company called Muji and I'm obsessed. I know that for the other products I mentioned previously, I told you that you can go and look for other companies and experience with another brands. But for this, you don't need to look elsewhere. My love for the eye mask started when I was a junior in high school. I got them as a Christmas gift. And at first I was really skeptical about it because I've never actually used eye masks to sleep. I just 
thought that they were really suffocating and just not comfortable around the head but this Muji one changes my whole concept like I said I've been using it non-stop since when I was a junior in high school so that like what almost 10 years if you go into Muji there are usually three or four types of the blindfolds you can choose from with different fabrics but let me tell you after I all of them and nothing can be compared to these strips kind the strip fabrics is softer than the other ones i have tried the eye mask from a bunch of different brands but nothing makes me as comfortable as the muji one does and when i said i couldn't live without them you can probably guess that i would have a thousand spare ones so i have this one right here that i use every night this is my spared one for this particular apartment i have the other one in my big duffel bag that i use whenever i was gonna go and sleep over at a friend place and i have another one in my big luggage one on my bed at home and one one spare one for at home uses so you know the feelings when you have to tuck your feet inside of the blankets so that it makes you feel safer and that no monster or serial killer is gonna come and get you that what these makes me feel like it's give me the same level of comfortness and safety that I cannot go to sleep without it at all even when I do small naps I still need them so the last item I want to talk about today is kind of a tragic story this is what I wanted to talk about. Yes, I am a 24 years old talking about a kid's toothpaste. This probably confused a lot of you guys, but let me just say that I didn't choose this life, this life chose me. So the story behind this is that I am allergic to adult toothpaste. Yes, it is a thing. My allergies reaction started at my sophomore year in college when I was traveling through Europe with one of my great friends. I was using normal adult toothpaste at the time, but my toothpaste ran out and I had to borrow with my friends for the duration of around a month. And then I started noticing the changes in the areas around my lips. At first, I thought it was an allergic reaction to some lipstick or the food I eat. So I just kind of stopped wearing lipstick on a trip. Some of my photos look hideous because of that it was really painful to me because the skin around my lip literally started to fall off so i stopped using products and i tried to apply medicine over it but nothing makes it feels better until i just couldn't take it so i kind of googled my symptom and i went to a very dark deep dive rabbit hole but then i found this community of people who are allergic to adult toothpaste me and my friend we went to the supermarket in switzerland and i had to pick up one of the toothpaste that has like a bunch of cartoons on it so i know that those one are for kids and then I use it that night and the next morning everything went back to a complete normal state my lips are getting back feeling like lips again so we concluded that it was probably the toothpaste long story short I come back to Thailand and went to the doctor she says it's completely normal a lot of people experience it so I just used kids toothpaste for like a year and then I kind of thought my allergic reaction was over so I went back and used adult toothpaste and the same exact symptoms come right back and that was like the end of an era for me from then on I learned from countless tries and failures that I just have to stick to this and I just feel like sharing death stories on the internet so now everybody knows that I use a fruity cool mint flavor toothpaste but yeah guys that it's for this video comment down below share with me what five random things you cannot live without also I believe that everyone has their own little secrets and weirdness inside of them so please do share with me so I can maybe add something to my own list but that being said thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and I'll see you in my next video bye